Hello. We're so excited to have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign your life away. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. Now then, we need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Oh man, you could, you can, you can think of your name. I've never really. You can't change this. I've never struggled so much to think of a name. Oh, it's got a little, the, the, the little weeps. Dude face. There we go. Are you okay with dude face? Yes. Birthday, 31st of January. Yay, January 31st is your birthday. Yes, it is. Dude face, dude face. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next one will be to take a picture of you, dude face. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Okay, oh, okay, okay. That hairstyle needs a lot of work. Square eyes. <laughs> Square eyes. Oh, what a dude. Does everything look okay? Yes. What have we got? Hmm, yes, look at this. This one's got a love heart. I love it. The charter flight for Nook Inc's Deserted Island Getaway Package is now ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Oh boy, let's do it. Ah, perfect timing. Let's all board the plane together. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking this charter flight as part of Nook Inc's Deserted Island Getaway. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Wow. It's the ocean. It's people relaxing. It's a bug. It's a stick. It's animals. It's fish. It's a frog. It's autumn. It's a sheep. It's a fox. It's Christmas. Oh my gosh, this is too much. Too much for my beady little eyes. We've learnt so much. Oh, party pops. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Look how happy everyone looks. Man, I need this in my life. Gosh, it's my it's my pals. We're here now. I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in nearby plaza? Are they coming too? Hello, Ursula. Come on, we gotta follow the guides. Okay, well you you better take him. Oh, they are moving. Hello. All right, let's see. Is Ursula here? Yes. How about Buck? Yes. And there's Dude Face, of course! Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of a new life in this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations! But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please make the tent from Timmy and Tommy and choose a spot. Okay. Here you go, dude face. Your very own tent. Thank you. Oh, should probably set you up with a map. A map? Mm, yes, look at all, look at all, look at these weeds. Disgusting. Okay, have a look at our map. We're kind of on the edge of our island. I kind of want to be close to town. I'm a city boy. I reckon, oh, here looks good. Look at this wide open plain. Right here. Right there. Put it, put it there. Oh, look at that. Yes. Perfect spot. Let me imagine it. Hold on. Let's imagine it. Oh. Oh. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Woo! I set up my tent. That's a big first step. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. All right, animals. Where are you crossing? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Buck? Yo, I'm Buck! You're dude face, right? Nice to meet you, partner. I hate you already. You already set up your tent? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. 
I think this one will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, dude face? No. No. I'm gonna put you as far away from me as possible. Because social distancing. <laughs> Alright, come over here. Right here. Just away, away from it all. Away from it all. <laughs> there you go. I'm too close to the ledge. Yep, right there. Right next to the rock. Hey! Hey, the rock! Hey, you got rid of the rock! I don't like Buck. Okay, I like you though, Ursula. You're cool. Wait! I gotta- don't tell me. You're a dude face, right? I'm Ursula. I gotta tell you. I'm excited to see this whole island thing. Groomph. I hate her too. Putting you as far away from me as possible as well. This land over here is where all the annoying people live. You guys can get along with each other and not bother me at all. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Oh yes. We'll just need a few supplies and of course we're the ones who have to do it. Let's see. Timmy, Ursula, Tommy and Buck can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Dudeface and I can will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. You guys sweep. Good. Put you in your place. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying, just push Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items. Oh, we got peaches! Don't worry, Mr. Nook. I won't let you down. I won't let you down at all. Let me pick up the... Oh, we can just pick up the weeds. Do some weeding while we're here. Clean all this up. Clean... Oh my gosh, disgusting. Yuck. I need my sticks. There we go. No, it's the sticks. The sticks. Peaches. There's peaches, guys. Peaches. Yum. Peaches. Oh my gosh, got my sticks. I know that Tom Nook said he's gonna source the peaches, but I am just going above and beyond the call of duty here. How much have I got? Oof, still need four sticks. <laughs> Great. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches? Very well. Allow me to enlighten your load. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they are 100%, without a doubt, genuine peaches. So will you collect six of them for me? <laughs> Way ahead of you, Tomo. Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough peaches? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands to get started on the preparations. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities! Wow. You've done it. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavours over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Look how gallant he looks. He's like, yes, yes, this is my island. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. But what should we call it? Oh, we get to name our island! I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, suggest the name for the island. A few moments later. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying ideas all at the same time. Ready, go. Swoleville. Now for the voting. I will say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Dudeface seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Dudeface suggested... Pet Store! Oh, everyone loves it. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Pet Store. Let's do it. Yeah, fantastic. We, we did it. We did it. We are Pet Store. Well, dude face, since you've proven yourself by naming Pet Store, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions. Alright. Yes, I hereby name you resident representative of Pet Store. Dude face, could you please say a word or two as a new spokesman for your neighbours? <laughs> a word or two. <laughs> they thought it was absolutely hilarious. 
Hmm, so we've set our name for our island, we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Where'd they get their drinks from? Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from the peaches. Oh, very good. Oh, very nice. Then without further ado, a toast to Pet Store and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Yeah! Oh, very nice. You are that guy at the party. Ah, dude face, having a good time. I know this is a little bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Yes, you know what? I think I will do that. I will do that. But first, you probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. Oh, there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. That's all for me from now. Sweet dreams, dude face. Okay. I'm ready for bed. It's nice and quiet. Oh my gosh, stuff. I have packages. I've got a little radio. I've got a little lamp. Yeah, okay. Place the eye. Place the eye. Oh, look at that. Rest my head for a little while. Yes. Time for bed. Good night, dude face. Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh my gosh, it's him. I see him in my dreams. So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Dario. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being on your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Living in this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You can take this island of life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Take that island of life and I'll catch you later. 